Hi, and good afternoon, my dear students. Today, we'll be showing you the, uh, the bar setup, the bar operations, and that's a very important uh, practical of this particular semester. There are innumerable set of equipments which has been used extensively in bar operations by the mixologists, by the bartenders. And uh, this and uh, all these kind of equipments aids in the showmanship of the bar. But uh, let's not talk about the equipments at a fast. Let's talk about the bar, uh, the types of bar, the, the parts of the bar to be precise, which already been covered in our in our theory syllabus as well, in the theory class as well. So let's talk about the bar as as of yet. So bar basically is a place, is an establishment where the alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverage can be served. Technically, the word bar came into existence from this particular long elevated platform, which is. Uh, I'll, I'll close the bar here, let me see for this to get a uh, full idea about it. Yes, it has been closed. It's a kind of a closed arrangement where it's a long table basically and where alcoholic beverages can be served to the guest who sits in the front of the bar as well. Also, bar is a mitchup, is, is a play place where the other uh, bar uh, guests can sit in the sitting area as well and the particular servicing from the bar area uh, also in the sitting area as well happens from this part of the uh, setup which is kind of an elevated platform and the concept of bar came into existence from this particular phase itself so as we have discussed bar is where uh, there are various types of bar and it is categorized as based on clientele based on theme and decor based on uh, sales um, uh, based on uh, based on the locality based on showmanship based on the target markets so there are innumerable innumerable set of bars but we are not talking about bar types today we will be talking about bar parts what are the various different types of uh, parts of the bar which ultimately aids in the operation itself so bar is categorized into three to four parts to be precise so the area where the guests sit which usually is the front of the bar is known typically as the front bar where technically the guests can sit and they can enjoy the drink uh, and they can uh, have a communication with the bartender while the bartender mix the drinks alongside and um, they get to see all the kinds of articulated displays of cocktails and mocktails being served with especially lots of equipments which is used during the process um, uh, there are some bar stools I'll be definitely posting the picture alongside because then I have to move the camera uh, to, and the presentation will get disturbed itself so uh, there are uh, bar stools which is kind of uh, a long and long high stool stool to be precise which have a short backrest where the guests can sit generally the height of the bar is to be precise 40 to 40 inches and the breadth uh, happens to be 24 to 26 inches to be precise but that can be that can go on that can be modified because that the general uh, that the general measurement but uh, depending on the age and the availability of the barman suppose a bartender is a is a short heighted person there are some bar curve the, uh, the desk curve you know which is a kind of a measurement thing the screw kind of thing which uh, which ultimately elevates the platform as well so it's kind of a aid which gives to the barman as well uh, also uh, the, the apart from the front bar the main attractive part of the bar which goes is definitely the back bar which is basically the show of the bar to be precise um, the naturally the call brands and the house brands are kept on this particular rails so that the guests can see what exactly being offered at uh, what are the uh, various uh, uh, glass, what are the various bottles, what are the different types of glasses it has been served. Also, it is a general notion that this particular black bar is usually uh, decorated with uh, uh, with mirror, so that it gives a visual effect. It makes the particular small area a bigger one because it ultimately reflects the glass and makes a two image per per perception uh, perception to it. And uh, it is also that the back bar is also articulated with lots of models, lots of wood works, so that it actually aids in the presentation of the whole setup prepared in front of the guest. Which also back bar has some shelves there where it is aids to keep lots of equipment, glasses, 
and the small equipment and the large equipment to be precise, uh, for the, which ultimately aids in the manufacturing or, or making the drinks. The most important area of the back of, of the bar is basically the underbar, which, which 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 I think is the most important part because the uh, bartender actually works in this particular platform and it keeps all the equipments articulately laid here. It is not only uh, just because I want to show you those equipments, I have kept this on this particular platform. But it's generally kept on this underbar where the uh, where the bartender performs his job and he sells and he serves the uh, drink on the particular this on the bar slab or the bar to be precise. That's exactly called a bar. So that's basically the underbar, the front bar, the back bar that which comes which makes the parts of the bar to be precise. Occasionally, the newer concept goes uh, like there is something called as a hanging rail up, up here. We don't have in this particular lab itself. We have a hanging rail on the top, which uh, which goes uh, which uh, goes by the name as the upper bar or the over bar to be precise, where uh, where uh, the stem glasses like this. You know there are various kinds of glasses. Uh, for details of different types of glasses we serve, uh, check to my next video to be precise. And these are some stem glasses which actually hangs upside down. And it will, and the light has been reflected by this way of glasses and it looks articulately uh, magnificent in the glass, in the bar. It make, it make, it, it, it gives a, a particular beautification in the bar as well. Of, also on the top there are some, there may be on the top of the bar rail there are some cabinets which ultimately aids in storage capacity because bar have lots of equipments which need to be kept uh, in hand uh, for the for the guest uh, for the bar barman who can make it make the drink in a very secure and uh, very um, uh, swift manner so uh, that's about the parts of the bar which is basically the front bar the back bar the under bar and the over bar also um, there are some plumbing system which goes underneath the underbar so those underbar areas need to be well sanitized there should be a wash basin or wash sink which we do have in our restaurant and uh, which ultimately aids in, um, in in making mocktails and cleaning some glasses very swift manner also there are uh, a refrigerator there are uh, the ice making machine there are the uh, glass frosters there are glass washer also, which which aids in uh, swift servicing of the cocktails and mocktails to be served in the glass as well. So uh, apart from that, let's come to the uh, main agenda for today is the identification of the various bar equipment which is generally been used. Uh, let me start with the bigger one here uh, from the from the right hand side itself. So that's basically is a wine chiller. Uh, it's a wine bucket to be precise where generally white wine or champagne which is generally served at a uh, chilled temperature 9 to 7 degrees centigrade. This has uh, been kept in the guest uh, <coughs> table and uh, it is usually served, uh, it, uh, the bottle is there to pre chilled with the ice so that ultimately when it is being served to the guest it gives a chilled effect. I am removing that because that is a hindrance here. So that's a uh, wine chiller. And uh, you can see uh, there is a chopping board or the cutting board here which aids in cutting various kinds of garnishes for the, uh, for the uh, <coughs> drink which is ultimately being served because the garnish is the most important part in any food and beverage uh, presentation. There are various kinds of spoon uh, knife which has been used for uh, chopping various things. We have the bar spoon, we have the turning or the uh, pairing knife as well. So uh, we can cut various kinds of garnishes from this and after the garnish has been cut off we have the garnish tray here and uh, we keep the, all the garnishes uh, equipment here or uh, particles here with the ice itself so that it doesn't get smudged. So this is a, a garnish tray with garnish drips as well. Uh, let's move on. We have a very old-fashioned wine decanter or, or a spirit holder here we can use a, uh, of a showmanship skill we can also use to store some uh, call brands so that we can serve it to the uh, glass of the guest and it makes a very articulated service uh, kind of thing 
So the most important part of the bar equipment is the shaker. We have two different kinds of shaker to be precise. This is called a two-piece shaker, which is also known as the uh, Boston shaker, which uh, have two mixing glass on top of each other, and we can shake vigorously some various cocktails. Many cocktails and this is usually made in this particular glass as well. Uh, there, are, there is something called as the cocktail shaker, which is also known as the three-piece shaker, which have a stainer and which have a lid on top. This is also used for making some uh, various classic cocktails like cosmopolitan. And uh, this goes here. And the through another important equipment which generally found in every bar is the bar measure to be precise. So this is the this kind of a two one small cup and one big cup uh, combined together. That's called that's that's that one measure of uh, how that one measure which is roughly measuring about 30 ml, and that's exactly is a 60 ml which measures with a two cup thing. And uh, we have also have a muddler. Generally, uh, this is a uh, this is a kitchen muddler which we generally use. But uh, there is also a glass muddler which is made up of uh, made up of wood, and we we model in ingredients out here and um, to extract the flavor out of it. So this is the muddlers which we generally use. Muddler extract the flavor and ultimately it gives the most varied uh, use of ingredients which is generally being extracted in the press extracted flavor of the ingredients can be taken from that particular uh, muddle. I prefer uh, my ingredients to be muddled in the glass but occasionally there are some ingredients which can be muddled afterwards and can add there also. So uh, if you want to model in the glass, you can use a wooden muddler. Uh, but care should be taken so that we don't put some extra pressure on the muddler so that it may break the glass as well. Because these are uh, the same glasses are more or less in the fine glasses which we generally use. And uh, it's one of the costliest equipment in the restaurant or the bar which generally we use. Let's talk about the two types of strainer which generally been found in a, in a, in a, in a restaurant. And uh, this is a Hawthorne strainer which is generally been fitted on the uh, on the mixing glass so that we can pour uh, the ingredients without the the uh, ice itself to be precise and there is another strainer which is which is just a simple strainer which also used to double strain some some cocktails use a double strain equipment so this can be used uh, to double strain that so that's a hawthorn strainer and that's a simple strainer to be precise this is called a bar spoon which is have a long handle this kind of aid in mixing something in the glass as well or support or pouring some measured quantity of condiments on the glass itself this is called a uh, uh, lemon squeezer or the lemon juice extractor very much profoundly found in any uh, any home appliances store or in any, any home kitchen equipment it's a very special equipment because you know the uh, concept of uh, seasoning which is called as the salt and pepper termed as the seasoning in cocktail which uh, comes as the lemon and the sugar content the lemon and sugar content makes the makes the uh, uh, the seasoning of the thing and we always prefer to use a fresh lime fresh cut lime we don't use an artificial lime there so uh, or lemon the lemon juice need to be extracted freshly this is called a melon scooper you know there are sometimes we use melon balls you know melons or some uh, fruit balls to be precise to make a garnish out of it so we scoop this kind of uh, kind the fruits here and we can garnish that and uh, we coming by at the end of the presentation there are some cocktail umbrellas you know these are for the garnishes as well uh, this is called a straw holder which holds the straw itself and it's at, it, it is generally been placed in the in the bar uh, bar table itself so it ultimately aids in the um, in the general uh, presentation of the bar we come by this bar uh, equipment which is called as the ice bucket we have the ice tongs alongside remember we are not touching any equipment any any ingredients with our bare hands because 
generally we are servicing in front of the guests so we have to maintain the secure protocol of hygiene and sanitation in front of the guests so always we are handling any equipment with this particular uh, tong which is called as the ice tong which is generally been found in many upscale restaurant and bar as well this is for an ice shovel you know there are there is something called a ice making machine you know which makes the uh, cube ice to be precise now to uh, put some ice on a particular glass or suppose on a mixing glass we are using this kind of ice shovel there to uh, put, put some uh, put some uh, ice on the mixing glass as well there are some uh, bar uh, opener or uh, the wine opener this is another kind of wine opener this is called an inches on horse swing which is basically a screw which uh, goes deep down in the in the cork which is you know uh, in the uh, wine there is a cork cork also which is kind of a rubber substance to be precise and it's extract the cork as well there is uh, the bar uh, the waiter's friend as well which is also a bar uh, equipment very important equipment which aids in opening various kinds of bottle uh, we can use a crown we can open a crown from here we can open a cork from here and we can open a, a beer cap as, as well from here itself so there are various kinds of opener which is generally being used and uh, of course there are some various kinds of glasses which will be uh, shown in our uh, next uh, presentation presentation so uh, stay tuned for uh, the more updates stay tuned for the glass presentation to Thank you.